Google Drive is all about making it really easy to live life in the cloud. And that starts by making all of your files available on all of your devices anywhere. And to do that, we've built a really nice web interface, desktop sync applications for Windows and for Mac, and also a really, really nice Android app. But like with Chrome, we want Drive to be available on every platform. And so today, I'm really excited to announce we're making it available on iOS and on Chrome OS. So let me start here on, uh, on iOS, here on the iPad. I'm just going to zoom out a bit. And I'll just open up Drive. And you can see the interface is really, really fluid. It works just like you'd expect. You can browse through dozens and dozens of file types here. I'll pull up a, a photo. It's a bigger photo than I remember. And um, everything just works like you'd expect. But it's not just browsing that we've made available on the iOS experience. We brought a lot of the best features of Drive right to the mobile and tablet experience. So for example, um, I'm going to open up this folder of receipts here. I'm a big nerd. I scan all of my receipts. Um, but I was also too lazy to actually title any of these. But I know that somewhere in here, there's a receipt from the post office with a tracking number. So what I can do here is just search. And I'm going to type uh, certified mail. I think that word was in there somewhere. And just like that, I can pull up the receipt. Now, notice this isn't a text file. There's no text in here. I haven't written anything. Instead, we used optical character recognition technology to actually extract the text from the scan, index it, and then make it searchable. Now, the cool thing is that doesn't just work with text. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It doesn't just work with text. It works with photos, too. Let me show you what I mean. So here I have a big pile of photos. I took a trip with my wife through Africa last year. And I know somewhere in here are photos of us at the pyramids. But again, I didn't title my, my, my photos. I didn't add keywords. But if I search for pyramids, just do a search. Up come the images of us at the pyramids. So again, we can actually use image recognition technology to peer inside of the images to actually understand the content. I don't have to do anything. No labels, no metadata, no nothing. It just works. So of course, I don't always have an internet connection. And so Drive makes it really easy to just save things, cast them offline. So here, I'll just save this manual offline so I can read it whenever. Um, and of course, at its core, Drive is about enabling sharing and collaboration. So I can add users to collaborate in documents with me right from the app. So here's, I think, a, a relevant document here. I haven't gotten very far, um, but I'm going to add Brian right here. He's now backstage. And uh, we'll see if he has any other ideas, give him edit access. And I've added him right there. So we'll come back to that in a second. So that's Google Drive on iOS. It's available for iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch later today. Check it out. We think you'll like it. So if we could go over to the Chromebook now. I want to show you Drive on Chrome OS. So of course, Drive does a lot more than just sync your files to the cloud. It enables some amazing applications. And one of those is real-time collaboration in the cloud um, with applications like Google Docs. So I'm going to open up this document here. Oops. There we go. And I'm also going to pull it up on my smartphone and on my tablet. And here's everything synced across all of my devices. Right, keystroke by keystroke, I can see these edits. Everything just works. Now, this last point is an important one. Um, Google Docs works great if you're connected to the internet. But what if you're on a plane or you don't have a connection? What about then? We've been thinking about that. And we're really excited to announce that today, Google Documents works for editing offline. So let me show you how this works. So what I'm going to do is uh, we've turned off wireless on the laptop here. And I'm just going to unplug the ethernet cable. So there it is. It's unplugged. And uh, just to prove to you that I am, in fact, offline, New York Times, no connection. But I can just go back to my Google Doc, and I can keep editing. 
just like I'm online. All the formatting still works, and you'll see that Google Docs, it's just noticed gracefully, I'm offline, all of my, sa all my changes are just saved locally to a local cache, and I can keep on without even thinking about it. It all just works without me even noticing. So what I'm going to do now is I've made some changes offline. Maybe my, Brian and folks backstage are making some more changes. Um, I'm going to close this document. All my changes are saved. I'm going to plug Ethernet back in. And now watch what happens when I open the document, because it's going to happen pretty quickly. I'm going to open it back up in Drive. And like that, it's going to be synced back to the cloud, and you'll see it across all of my devices, updated in real time. So let me open up the Drive web interface. Here it is. I'm going to open up this document and get ready, because it happens quick. There is, and there it is. Everything, everything just syncs. And once you've shown the feature, move on to the next thing. So that's Google Documents working offline. Um, it's available today. We're working on offline presentations and spreadsheets. Those are coming soon. But if you're flying back um, from Google I.O. and you don't have internet on the plane, try out Google Docs. It works great. Um, we think you really love it. So Google Docs offline. Thank <laughs> you.